Hello, this is Robert. I'm here in Czestochowa, Poland. And you may be able to see behind me Jesta Gula uh, Monastery. And of course, inside the monastery, they have a painting of the Black Madonna. Now, the interesting thing about the, the painting of Black Madonna, a lot of people will travel probably from all over the world to come and pray for a healing here. And as you go inside, you can see uh, crutches and all kinds of different things hanging on the walls where people actually were healed by coming here and to pray. And so what I'd like to do is share a little bit about the power of faith or the power of belief. And one of the things that come to mind is some of the teachings of Jesus. One of them is where he was walking through the village and someone had touched the hem of his garment and he turned and looked at this lady and said, by your faith, you are healed. Now the interesting thing he said is that by your faith you are healed. He didn't say because you touched my garment I healed you. He said by your faith you are healed. And also you can see in other passages where Jesus was walking, went to teaching in other different towns and villages and no one was saved and no one was healed because they did not believe. And so uh, you know of course with Fast Drift T we, we operate within belief systems and how beliefs work. Um, scientifically proven, the mind has the power to heal itself. And you can see that with the research of the placebo effect. Now, the placebo effect, oftentimes you hear people and they use it like a scoffing word, you know, that stinking placebo effect, usually from a scientist with a lemon in his mouth. But what is the placebo effect? The placebo effect is the mind's great ability to heal itself in spite of the sugar pill. Now, of course, there's another process called the nocebo effect. The nocebo effect is the mind's inability to heal it itself in spite of how good the drug or operation is. So what is this power of belief and faith? So, you know, I look in Hebrews, Hebrews 11.1, 1, faith is the confidence of what we hope for and the assurance of what we not seen. And it goes on to say something like this. And what is seen is not made of what is visual. So it means inside the individual, they're doing something internally, correctly, to create healing. It goes on to talk about how like uh, Moses was speaking to the children of Israel and they were in Egypt and he said, you know, there's a land of milk and honey, a promised land. And of course, as you're standing there listening to Moses, I'm sure they're listening to the fact that they could have their own home and that their cattle will have lots of land to graze on and their children will have a nice home and they'll have a great life. You know, it's like you could have, you know, a nice home, a two-car garage, a swimming pool in the background, in the backyard, and you can have whatever you want. So they're sitting there, the children of Israel, visualizing something they had not seen. And they said, yes, Moses, we're going to go. This is how the power of the mind works. We manifest and create within ourselves by what we see internally. You know, because we deal with people with all kinds of fears and phobias. We deal with um, panic attacks, depression. And what happens is that the nocebo effect and the placebo effect are doing exactly the same thing. But what are they doing? The, no the nocebo effect, they're getting the right drug, they're getting the right surgery, and in their mind, they're doing something inwardly. I'm going to die. It's not going to work for me. And they keep seeing, replaying times that nothing worked. But the placebo effect person, they're taking the medication and they're visualizing. They know it's going to work. They see it's going to work. And they feel it. and They look for reasons why and when and how it is working. And of course, God does heal people because he heals from the inside of you by what you visualize, what you internalize, and what you produce. Now the interesting thing, people ask me, does faster EFT work with people who don't believe? And I say yes. And the reason why I say yes is because I teach faster EFTers how the mind works and how belief works, and we step inside of what the mind does to create belief or not. That's why we go in, we create re-imprints, or we call it the flip. And we create healing inside the mind of the individual, leaving powerful imprints that their life will begin to model after by what we hold in our mind. 
I always say fears are great affirmations. The more you fear it, the bigger it gets. What are they doing to create fear? They visualize and making up stuff built on their past and projecting their future. So this is how it all works. Yes, it does heal because we're operating within the system God had set up. You can heal and you are healed even if you die. Ugh, doesn't make sense, but trust me, it does work that way. So anyway, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in Chestahova, Poland, and the great monastery behind us, and the Black Madonna is there. Do vizenya, do